because this is one of the most important things that you need to learn in your life, I promise you. And that is the figure shit out mentality, okay? This has been one of the biggest life lessons that I've learned on my own, and I'm sure you have learned and thought about before in your life, is the idea of you can figure out anything in life. You in yourself have all of the answers. You don't need anybody to tell you what to do. You don't need anybody to answer questions for you. You don't need signs to know what decision to make. You always know. And just a little hint slash side tip here or side note, I would completely eliminate the phrase I don't know from your vocabulary because when you say I don't know, you set yourself up for not knowing in the future. Literally setting yourself up for not having the answers. And I don't know about you, but I would rather have the answers than set myself up to not know them. But the figure shit out mentality, what does that even mean? It's the idea that no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what future plans you have, no matter what rock is thrown in your window, you can always figure it out. You can always find a way to turn around a situation, make something happen, put something together. And I mean, you've made it this far in life without collapsing, so I think you're doing pretty well. But this is something we develop over time. And I learned this lesson hardcore in high school. In high school, I lived alone for most of it, and there wasn't a bunch of money in my family. I actually worked three jobs while going to school and being on the cheer squad and playing tennis and all of these other things. And I, and I just had to learn how to figure shit out. And I was actually in DECA, which is this marketing club and competition, and I placed to go to internationals both years that I was in DECA and I really wanted to go, but I didn't know how I was gonna come up with the money to go, right? And I remember so distinctly telling somebody that I never let money dictate my experiences, the lack of or, you know, whatever. I'm just like, if it was expensive, if I didn't have the money, I was always willing to find a freaking way to make it happen because I wanted these experiences bad enough. It's the same thing when I started investing in different courses and coaches. It was like, no, I didn't have $8,000 sitting around, but I figured it out. I got a payment plan. I broke things up in different payments. I moved money here, there, and everywhere. Same thing as those deck of competitions. I would ask for sponsors. I asked my principal to sponsor me. I would ask my grandma. I would work extra hours. I would do different things to figure it out. And the way that I did that so successfully over and over and over again so many times in my life is because I was unwilling to accept no for an answer. I was unwilling to accept the idea of not going on these trips or not investing in something that I desired. Okay, I had to close the window. I live on a pretty main street and it's getting really loud. But what I was saying is I wouldn't accept no for an answer and that doesn't mean like, I would ask somebody for money and they say no and I would keep arguing with them. It means I was not willing to accept no for the things that I desired. So if I wanted to go on a DECA trip, it was happening. If I wanted to join the cheer squad and I needed to pay for the uniform, it was happening. If I wanted to invest in a program, it was happening. I didn't leave anything up to chance. I didn't leave any of it up to like, oh, well, if it comes through, then I guess it's meant for me. I took that shit into my own hands and I made it happen. And what I would do is I would do every single thing that I could think in my own power to do and I would go do the shit. <laughs> you figure shit out. When things get tough, when things don't go your way, when things look like they're not happening, 
It's almost a test from the universe to see how badly do you want it? How willing are you to figure it out and make it happen? This is the same thing when it came to launching my YouTube channels when I was actually a freshman in college. If you guys scroll back through super old videos of baby Michaela, freshman year, I would record in conference rooms. This is the situation. Let me paint the picture. I wanted to be a YouTuber so badly. I went to college studying French and fashion because I wanted to be like a fashion YouTuber and fashion blogger. And so I was like, okay, well I'll get all like the professional training. I'll do the YouTube on the side and I'll build it up as I go. And I bought a huge camera, like a big Canon camera for like $600 with one of my refund checks. And I would take that camera and I would bring like a whole fucking stack of books and I would book a conference room so I could literally film videos. And I didn't have a tripod, so that's why I would have to bring a huge stack of books so I could set my camera up on the right angle. And I would film like every single Saturday and every single Wednesday, I would film all these videos. And I didn't have a good computer with editing software. I had a super old HP. And so I would literally go to the library, I would rent out a computer, and you could only have it for three days at a time, and I would upload it twice a week. So I would rent it out, and then I would wait the 24 hours, and then I would rent it out again, and I would do this over and over and over again on top of all my classes and everything. Was it convenient? No, but did I want to be a YouTuber more than anything? Yes, so I just figured it out. When you want something bad enough, you will do whatever it takes to make it happen, and that is the figure shit out mentality, okay? So I hope this amped you up. Happy Utober. Go do shit. I was gonna say something and then shit at the same time. Go do something. Go take an action step to get you closer to the thing that you want more than anything. Go do something that helps you figure it out because I promise once you take one step, the next step is gonna be apparent and then the next step. If you are looking at everything in your life and you're like, okay, I really wanna get a promotion at my job and you have no clue how that's gonna happen, just take the one step that you know to take. An extra project, talking to your boss, asking if there's more to do. Any one thing you can think of, start there. The next step will always be ready for you, okay? I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, and happy YouTuber.